The following contest is a Dynamite Division Lower Qualifier match scheduled for one ball with a 15 minute time limit and is sponsored by Ben Big Guys Tony. Introducing first. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Shoop Shellhammer, all the way from Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada, which I believe is the hometown of also some wrestling greats like Vampiro, I believe Edge and Trish Stratus. I, uh, I'm not that fluent in my Canadian ease, so I could be wrong, but that is Shoop Shellhammer. And he's, if he wins this match, he'll be on his way to that big four-way ladder match, but he's got some competition in store. Mr. Prime Time, all the way in from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, a wrestling hotbed area if I ever saw one. Mr. Prime Time here to tangle. He's no stranger to championship gold, no stranger to ladder matches. As that Dynamite Division Championship hangs impossibly high above our ring. Mr. Primetime and Shoop Shellhammer. Got to give the experience edge here to Mr. Primetime, but anything can happen in the world of professional wrestling. And that's the world we occupy right now. Haters may stare, they may stare with googly eyes upon the action that is occurring in this ring. Nobody brings it better in Northern California than Gold Rush. Take a look at Shoop Shellhammer. Shoop Shellhammer trying to lock up with MPT. MPT having a little bit of a standoff here. The Philadelphia Natives starting up a USA chant against the evil Canadian Shoop Shellhammer. MPT takes him over in that headlock using leverage, as well as his remarkable tendon strength. But look at that, quick as a cat. Rolls him over. Look at that. I thought he was gonna hold on to that headlock. Caught him with a shoulder tackle. MPT again, cinching that headlock in tight, locking it in right around the cranium. Squeezing the very blood out of the brainstem, drying up the whole spinal column of Shoop Shellhammer. Ah! 
very smart veteran tactic, holding on to that headlock as long as he can, getting everything he can, everything he can out of it. Takes him down with a shoulder tackle. And again, very smart. Right back to that hold that got this started. Working on that neck and gay, make no mistake. Even in an MMA obsessed world, a headlock is still a submission hold. Incredible pressure upon the neck, the neck muscles, the tendons, as well as the whole spinal column, as I alluded to earlier. Also constricts the oxygen flow to the brain. So very important. If you want to win a match, you got to do it with your brain as well as your brawn. And when you're Shoop Shellhammer, you rely a little bit more on your brain. MPT. Again, holding on to that headlock for all he's worth. Shellhammer ducks down. MPT, look at that. Sets him up. Beautiful suplex. Doesn't hook the leg and does not get the pin. Irish whip, Shellhammer goes in. Sunset flip, rolls him over. Two and... MPT so smart, so quick. Nice, beautiful drop kick right in the face, as I like to say. Look at that clothesline. Kind of a modified version of, of a move my friend Mick Foley made famous all around this world. Shellhammer having some trouble there up top. Whoa! Shellhammer maybe not too accustomed to the top rope offense. You might want to stay grounded if you're not that acquainted with those ropes, which are, in fact, steel cables covered in electrical tape and stretched to provide the tension, the spring, if you will, that you're going to see an expert of high flying right here, MPT. Beautiful, beautiful forearm drop right in the upper, upper clavicle region just south of the esophagus. MPT, they call him Mr. Primetime, and that's why. But Shoop Shellhammer, school of the tactics, he says he's got brains, and he conveys that fact to the cameras and the fans at ringside. Shoop Shellhammer, though, taking a lot of time to celebrate this accomplishment. You got a veteran like MPT, quick as the day is long. Whoa! Did you see the impact on the chin? Three, MPT advances.